Recycling is now part of everyday life, with most products today being at least partly recyclable. Surprisingly, the lead acid battery is the most recycled product on Earth. The lead recovered as a result supplies around half of total demand globally, and nearly 100% of demand in the US. However, the statistics for its modern peer, the lithium-ion battery, are far less impressive. Only about 10% are currently recycled, and no lithium is reclaimed at all. In part, this low recycling rate is due to the relatively recent development of lithium-ion batteries. More used product is required before meaningful measures can be put in place. Also, the batteries are chemically complex, which makes the recycling of their components far more difficult. That said, as earlier lithium-ion batteries reach the end of their useful life, recycling numbers are beginning to increase, which should see meaningful supply in the next five years. In fact, recycling lithium-ion batteries will become imperative in the future, not just to protect the environment, but also to meet demand for the minerals they contain. These include lithium, copper, nickel, and most notably cobalt. Supply of cobalt is constrained, and the price has reached record highs. With the advantage of significant metallurgical experience, Lithium Australia is now advancing its processing technology to include the recycling of lithium-ion batteries. So Lithium Australia has taken a hydrometallurgical approach to the processing of uh, electrode dust, which is the product from the physical sorting and, and shredding um, of, of, of spent battery material, um, with the objective of recovering the major metals of value in that material, which are typically the, the cobalt, the nickel, uh, copper and aluminium to a lesser extent, uh, and also the lithium. And the you know, philosophy is that we'll recover those materials in a form that can then go back into um, making battery materials such as cathode active materials um, or other materials for batteries. So process development has been underway for um, about six months and the front end of the Hydromet flow sheet is, is, is well defined. It's taken some time to optimise the pre-treatment and leaching conditions for the, for the battery material. Um, so that work is, is reaching a definitive point for the front end of the process. Uh, the next you know, three to six months will be focused on optimising the purification of the leach, leachate from the, um, from the upstream processing and then selectively isolating the, the metals of value in a form uh, that can be re reused in battery material manufacture.